This video is part of the series Fungi and their Hosts and explains how fungi are different from plants, animals and bacteria. To make this a bit easier, the comparison does not include protists because protists are a polyphyletic group and therefore cannot be treated as one entity. Most of you can recognize fungi by their typical mushroom habit consisting of a stalk and a cap. The mushroom you can see though is only a small part of the whole fungus. Most of the fungus lives in the substrate and looks like a web. This web is called a mycelium. The mycelium is made out of tiny strings called hyphae. The substrate where these hyphae live can be different things such as soil, rotten wood, living animals or plants. In this illustration the substrate is soil and the mycelium is below ground. Only when fungi decide to reproduce sexually, they form a structure called fruiting body. This often has a stalk and a cap and this is what we eat on our pizza or in soup. The typical mushroom. The fruiting body is also built out of hyphae and releases thousands of spores. Each spore can travel to distant places and sprout when the conditions are right. When a spore sprouts, hyphae are growing out of it and form a vast mycelium again. Some fungal species can cover enormous areas, such as the famous fungus from Oregon in the United States, which is known as the largest organism on Earth. Mycelium can have different colors, but it is often whitish and you can easily find it if you turn around leaves on the ground. A lot of insects, such as this tiny ant here, are using fungi as their food. The mycelium is a special structure which allows fungi to grow fast and energy efficient. Some protists and certain bacteria are also forming mycelium-like structures, but fungi perfected this growth form. If fungi are mainly a big mass of mycelium without specific organs, how do they acquire and digest food? Where do they get their energy from? Fungi digest food externally. They grow in the substrate and acquire nutrients from their surroundings. At the tip of hyphae, fungi release enzymes which digest the food on the outside. While the whole food is being digested externally, the hyphae grows and absorbs the digested nutrients away from the hyphal tip. This way of acquiring food is one way in which fungi are distinct from many organisms. Fungi form their own group and are distinct from plants, bacteria and animals. Fungi are not plants because they search for food just like we do. They do not produce their own energy as do plants by photosynthesis. Fungi are heterotrophs, just like animals, whereas plants are autotrophs. Fungi are not animals, because animals digest their food internally. As shown before, fungi digest their food externally instead. Fungi are also not bacteria, because fungi have complex cells with cell organelles such as nuclei, mitochondria and endoplasmic reticula. Fungi are eukaryotes as are plants and animals. These were just the main characteristics that distinguish fungi from plants, animals and bacteria. There are more special features to fungi and they can be listed by their function. As explained earlier, fungi have a special mode of nutrition called external digestion. Plants do photosynthesis instead. Animals digest internally. Bacteria also digest their food externally, but they are prokaryotes and not eukaryotes. The cell organization of fungi is eukaryotic. Fungi store food reserves in the form of glycogen. They have this in common with animals. Plants, on the other hand, use starch as energy reserves. Fungi have a different mode of nuclear division than most plants and all animals. It's called closed mitosis. Closed because the nuclear membrane is not broken down during mitosis. Bacteria, on the other hand, do not form mitosis at all because they don't have nuclei. 
Bacteria divide by binary fission instead. Fungi have cell walls that contain chitin. Plants have cell walls with cellulose. Bacteria have cell walls made out of murine and animals have no cell walls at all. Fungi use the sugar trehalose and the sugar alcohol mannitol to do osmoregulation and growth. In contrast, the main sugars in plants are saccharose, glucose and fructose. Sterols make the plasma membrane of eukaryotes fluid and permeable. The sterol of choice in fungi is ergosterol. Animals use mainly cholesterol and plants use several other steroids called phytosterols. These characteristics and DNA information sets fungi apart from other organisms and puts them in their own kingdom called fungi. All this information combined reveals that fungi are actually closer related to animals than to plants or bacteria. Animals and fungi are regarded as sister groups and together they form a super kingdom called Opistoconta.